Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something I have been putting off. I've been procrastinating on this probably harder than like almost anything I've procrastinated on and that is my closet. It's a hot mess between switching over our clothes. Obviously we live in the south so we keep out our like warmer weather clothes. We keep those out for a lot longer than like I used to when I lived in New Jersey for example. So I've been putting off switching our closet out and I have a ton of new clothes that are just like all over that need to get put away. I have a lot of clothes that I know need to be donated. I actually already have like a huge box I will show you guys. And I know that when I go through my closet and then the clothes I have packed away that need to go into my closet. I know that I'm gonna probably get rid of a ton of more stuff, which I'm really excited about. I need to declutter. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with. I really need to get this done. It might take me today and tomorrow, because honestly, this has been kind of accumulating as a problem <laughs> for a while, and I've just been like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna like tackle it, and I haven't. So, it's a mess. This is gonna be a project, but I figured I would vlog it just to keep myself a little bit of accountable, and also, I kind of like cleaning and like organizing videos and my whole closet needs to just be organized like not only do I need to switch things around and get rid of stuff and hang stuff up I need to just like reorganize it this dresser over here also needs a little bit of reorganizing as well so that's what we are going to do today so just to give y'all an idea I have big piles of clothes out here that need to go away I need to situate my jeans drawer because I have hella denim to add to that drawer and it's already overflowing and I'm kind of embarrassed to show this but I'm going to because this is just real life and I have not dealt with this closet in a long time so I have shoes here I have like piles of stuff. like I kind of started switching stuff out and this is kind of where it stopped so like I pulled out all my shorts and summer stuff there but then I took down these because these have like sweaters and hats that I've been accessing and then I have a whole bunch of shoes over there that I haven't been able to put away this whole situation is like a mess like look at this look at all this just look at all this and then I have obviously all my clothes they all need to be reorganized this is honestly where the serious situation comes in like there's just Clothes everywhere on the floor, piled up everywhere. The shoes situation is ridiculous. This rack here is so packed. I literally, like, you can even see. I can't even hardly get into this because there's just so much stuff up here. <laughs> it's not terrible, but that needs to be situated. Yeah, oh, and look at this. I need to include this because, like, look at the jewelry. Like, it's just... Oh, so I feel like I'm gonna be at this like I said probably for more than just today and on top of this I also have stuff in like the storage bins that I keep like fall and winter stuff in that I'm gonna be putting in here and then taking this summer and spring stuff out of here and putting in the bin so like there's a lot of swapping this is like a big project every single like I don't really only do it like twice a year but it's always a big undertaking so let's do it I was worried you'd blow my reputation But I figured it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your hands on myself like you're pulling the trigger Okay, so I've pulled all my shoes out. There's some more in there, but pretty much all my shoes are here. This entire freaking thing is scarves, so I might declutter some scarves because that's kind of ridiculous. And then I have some more shoes here and some sweaters. So this isn't actually like a ton of clothes. Like this is the only clothes here really. It's mainly just shoes and scarves. So I actually, I didn't film this, but I just went through. First of all, I'm in shorts even though it's cold outside because I already have started sweating. I need to like switch into a t-shirt because I'm sweaty. My hair is gross, so I have to <laughs> wear a hat. But I just reorganized these bins behind me. Those are still out from switching all the holiday decor. So I just went through and like reorganized that. When I get in like one of these like organizing modes, there's like kind of no boundaries. And before I know it, I've like reorganized underneath the bed in the guest room. Like the most bizarre spots. <laughs> I also have a really hard time getting rid of stuff. I'm not like I'm not a hoarder, obviously, but I'm very bad at being like, I don't need these, I'm not gonna wear these, goodbye. I always think like, no, I might wear them, no, they're still good. No, fine because I really don't believe in just getting rid of stuff just for the sake of getting rid of it like I feel like some people are like I need to get rid of 10 things or something and I'm like I don't really subscribe to that I don't think you need to get rid of stuff just for the sake of getting rid of it but I think you should obviously if you haven't worn it in a long time or you don't think you're going to or it's kind of worn out or you know it's seen better days I definitely think there are good reasons to get rid of stuff but if I think I'm gonna wear it I'm gonna keep it so uh, we'll see how well I do <laughs> in this 
Okay, so I've brought all the bins of clothes and shoes and everything out here in the hallway. This is part of my donate pile, and then, like I said, it's gonna definitely be overflowing. I haven't really found many pairs of shoes to get rid of. I'm thinking probably these, because they're just like not really in good condition. And then these I like, but they're just huge on me. But I wear them a lot, so I kind of want to hold on to them. I also bought some new combat boots for this year, so I kind of feel like I need to get rid of either that quilted pair or this pair. As you can see, these have like also seen better days, but I also feel like it's kind of good to have at least like one pair of like kind of, you know, not super nice combat boots just to wear. Like I wear them to the pumpkin patch, you know, like things like that. But I think what I need to do is leave that stuff in the hallway and just work on like emptying out this space because there's just too much stuff everywhere on the floor in here and it's making it so that you can like barely even move in here. They want to grab all the summer stuff, like my husband's shorts, and tank tops and my shorts and get it out of this closet put it in my room and just start like making space in here and then I think that's like the best game plan right right but no I kind of need the bins to be empty to put this stuff in here no I'll just make a pile and then I'll put them in the bins later it's fine <laughs> Okay, so here's, I feel like this pile is deceiving. This is a extremely <laughs> large pile of clothes and some shoes, actually a lot of shoes over here. <laughs> so I think, well, I need to go through all this and take the hangers off of them and then make sure they're all folded up so I can put them <laughs> in their bin. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. I've also changed clothes and hair and everything because I'm like breaking a sweat already. Okay, so I folded up, as you saw, all of this stuff to go away. And now what I think I wanna do is do the shoes because I really need to empty out these bins so that I can start putting like these shoes and those clothes in the bins. And the shoe area is obviously kind of emptied out now. I have a lot of shoes though. I also might be able to attack the scarves. I might put them in some of like those little cubby holes. So I might just like empty these bins now. It's just too hard to move when you stand in right there. So I'm trying to be as like space conscious as I can. So I put a pair of shoes like along the back and then I'm just like, stacking. As you can kind of see, I kind of have to stack because I don't have a ton of room. Like I just have storage here and here and I have a ton of shoes. I'm actually storing some up there <laughs> as well in the boxes. So I'm just going to kind of stack them like this and then if I end up having extra room, I'll kind of rearrange them, but I'd rather kind of get them all in.
I think I have like a secret talent for packing stuff just like super efficiently. Like all the clothes I folded fit in here and I still have a ton of room. And then I also fit all of these shoes in here, literally like jigsaw puzzle style. So it's like literally every crevice of space is used as efficiently as possible. Actually, I should probably shove something down here, but <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with myself. I just finished doing Ken's side and how beautiful does it look with all the hangers spaced out and everything just so organized. And Ken is vacuuming in the bathroom literally right outside the closet. But I wanted to show you, I finished that. And then I also did this little like cubby hole situation. We don't have like any drawers in here or any shelves, which is annoying. We're gonna have this closet redone at some point for sure with like custom built-ins. But until the time comes, we've just been using this from Ikea. So I actually finished this as well. I put all of Ken's sweatpants, my leggings, my sweatpants, and then this is actually from my wedding. It's just a little like bin. I just threw all my like beanies in there And then this little bin here just keeps like all of the hangers this one It just has like all my PJs. I just kind of like organized and folded those this has a most of not most of my scarves It has about half of my scarves the ones that I wear the most I might be getting rid of the other ones to be honest So I put like the scarves I like the best in there and this one's actually empty. So that's always good. So hello and I got everything in like the main part of the room all cleaned up. I have this pile of scarves like I was just saying that I think I'm going to be getting rid of. I'm pretty sure. So those are just chilling there. I'm going to make maybe give those to my sister. And then out here I have the two bins of my summer clothes. And I fit all of my summer clothes and shoes in these two bins. Which I'm pretty impressed with. I mean obviously summer clothes are smaller than winter clothes. So they take up like less space. But I'm pretty impressed that I was able to fit all that in there. The pile of stuff to get rid of is significantly growing so I'm happy about that so basically all I have left now is I have this last bin which is a bunch of sweaters in it again I'm not sure if I'm gonna be keeping everything in there so I need to go through that and decide and then like I was showing you I have that pile of new clothes that I just did a haul with out in the bedroom but this is also like some new purchases and recent purchases that I've recently hauled and stuff so all this stuff needs to get like put up as well I want to like be able to see the floor over here so I need need to take care of those so basically other than that bin and this pile here the only thing I have left to do is like reorganize so like I showed you this is a hot mess it's all jankly just shoved in there the hangers don't match it's gross and then and up here is all mine so I need to go through all this and like reorganize it so like I have flannels in some places and jackets in some places and long sleeves and like there's not a lot of organization but I did finish up the shoes and uh, surprisingly I guess it's because I have gotten more shoe stores since last winter but surprisingly I have like a ton of space like I have a slot right there I have a slot underneath of here I actually had some extra room in the very top as well so I actually have a lot more shoe storage than I thought which is exciting however I did end up putting some shoes up here just because they were like either already in boxes or they're like really tall so they kind of need to like stand on their own I put my hats in the center and then I just have like some of my nicer shoes and some of my sneakers over there like I said this is a hundred percent not my most ideal closet setup we need to have built-in closets done. This closet needs a facelift at some point in the future. So I think that's all I'm gonna be doing for now because honestly, I've been doing this for like four or more hours. <laughs> I need to go put this scarf somewhere and I'm kind of exhausted and I feel like I'm at a good stopping point where like all the clothes are put away in bins and the stuff that was out of the bins is like at least hung up tomorrow I kind of want to pick back up with like actually organizing it but I stop here for now hopefully I look better tomorrow I'm so sorry for my appearance it's been a long day I had a doctor's appointment at seven o'clock in the morning so I started my workout at 5 30 so I've been awake for it's 5 30 now I've been awake for 12 hours and Ooh, it's been kind of busy and crazy. So tomorrow I'm gonna just haul butt and get this done. I'm very excited. I feel like, you know, like whenever you declutter your house, you declutter your mind. I just feel like I'm gonna feel mentally so much better once that's done. Plus we'll actually be able to like walk in there and see the floor. I don't know why I'm holding these 
glasses either. <laughs> so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, it is day two of the uh, closet situation. I've got that last bin of sweaters divided into like probably definitely keeping and maybe on the chopping block. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through these. Okay, so I'm about to start kind of like shifting stuff around. I think the first thing that like makes the most sense is just to put like the like tank tops. I think I'm gonna bump those to like the back of the closet and then move like the more relevant seasonal stuff up. Like I have a lot of Sherpas and sweaters back there. So kind of just like switch some of the seasonal stuff around on here. And then I need to start moving stuff from this side over to here. I also am definitely gonna probably have to switch out some hangers because I kind of really can't stand it. I don't care that there's different colors, but I don't like when there's like random colors in between the similar colors. So I'm gonna have to fix that too. <laughs> Okay, it's been like an hour. <laughs> we have another pile of cuts slash need to go somewhere else, but mostly cuts. And the closet is like officially, well, organized. The, the hanging things are organized. So I put everything with similar items. So I have sweaters, uh, like button downs, slash flannels, long sleeves, and then sweat suit matching cropped sweatshirts, hoodies, crew neck sweatshirts, quarter zip sweatshirts, zip up sweatshirts. I have a lot of loungewear as you can see. <laughs> and then Sherpas and then like graphic tees are all in that area. So there's like cropped graphics and then graphic tees and then it's a little bit miscellaneous down there. So the, the back part, I know it makes sense to me, but it's a little bit all over the place. And then I went through and kind of redid the hangers. I want to eventually like replace all these hangers with the satin ones, but I don't know when I ever plan on actually purchasing them and like undertaking that whole project, but I just kind of clumped them. So like all black, all white, all black, all white, all black, all white. And then like the, at least they're all clumped. You know what I mean? So I did that. And then over here is a little bit still a work in progress because over here is kind of where I want to keep like my new stuff. So I have a couple of my like new Christmas items just on the edge here because I've been wearing them. But for the most part, I have jackets over here and then I'm going to have like kind of my newer items in this area. And then over here I have like my football shirts so like my eagles and then like my panther stuff is over here for sundays and stuff like that so that's the organization and it actually makes a lot of sense like i think i did good the only thing left to do now oh and this is all nice and organized as well oh and i also organized the hanger bin so they're all in like similar colors which kind of drives me crazy i have so many colors but again i don't want to like waste hangers like there's no reason to throw them away if they work so now all i kind of have left is like all the random clothes like along town here so i want to organize those and either hang them or just like fold them there so that I can wear them since they're all new for some reason I'm just weird about like my new clothes like if I haven't worn it yet I don't want to hang it up yet I want to like leave it out and then once I wear it I hang it up I don't, I don't know why I'm like that but <sighs> I've been at this already for like two hours lol that I thought this was gonna take like an hour <laughs> it's been probably over two hours so I'm gonna just try to organize this stuff a little bit and then I should hopefully be done Did y'all think we would ever see the floor in here? <laughs> At least in this area. I did not. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm basically done. I got all those clothes folded and like put up here. So then like I said, after I wear them, they will end up in like this space here. I like spread this stuff out a little bit because it looked a little awkward just having like this open spot, but I'm gonna leave this open spot. Like I said, I kind of treat it like a clothing rack and I'm gonna just kind of use it to store my newer stuff that I can easily like Link and like to know it and stuff like that so I have a little open space here for all of that stuff but look I have this all completely cleared out the floor cleared out everything is out of the way and put up and like we have actually a ton of storage space up there we have a bunch more of these little collapsible bins but um we didn't need to use them and i have an extra like big plastic storage bin too so either i have more stuff in this closet and i packed less away or i gave a lot away which i do need to show you guys my donate pile is massive but as for this room the only other thing i need to address is the jewelry which i'm probably going to do that later because i've been up here for like three and a half hours 
hours. So I'm gonna deal with that in a second. Check out this donate pile. I am so, so proud of myself. I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit deceiving, but like it's huge. Like this box is pretty big. It's overflowing. There's like another box underneath there. I have to like fold everything and go through it. I am just like organize it a little bit because it's obviously just like tossed on here. This is a really good step for me because I'm really not good at this. This video is probably getting <laughs> crazy long and probably way longer than I anticipated it being, but I didn't really think this was gonna be quite as much of a project as it is. So I'm gonna take a break for today and then once I finish with the jewelry and get all the donations organized, I will show you guys that and then that will pretty much conclude this project. Good morning, it is the next day and I'm finally going to finish this situation. It honestly probably won't take that long at all but I honestly can't even like film this because I have literally nowhere to put my camera down so showing you a little, plus the lighting here is awful but here's a little hot mess of a before. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's see what I can do. Okay, I was not actually expecting this to like go this well. So I got all the necklaces and stuff that were back here up and onto my little rack and then I have like bracelets kind of on like this lower rack here and then all my necklaces kind of around it and then check this out I still can't get it to like close perfectly just because some of these necklaces in front are a little bulky but it's not a big deal and a lot of times I actually end up leaving it open just to be able to see it and use the mirror I mean obviously y'all just saw how it looked before I literally thought like I couldn't fit even what was already in here in here and now that I like reorganize it it turns out I can actually fit like a ton like clearly I have a lot of room for like like tons of more earrings over here this is basically empty so I have like a ton of room for you know some like bigger items in there and then I just a little bit reorganized some of like the earring slots this has like necklaces and then just this one bracelet this is necklaces this has earrings earrings this is basically all just like hoops and then this is like bigger chunkier necklaces one of my watches so I feel like everything actually fits perfectly and I actually have room to grow which I really really did not think was gonna happen I feel like everything just more accessible and I'm gonna be able to actually like reach for some of this stuff more often and it just look a lot better over here well I don't know about you guys but I feel like we have done great things I have spent a lot of time in here <laughs> over the last three days and just feel like we have made so much progress just like everything just looks organized you can see the entire floor which is amazing like even looking over there now seeing it not be a big cluster really makes me feel good and also not only does having an organized space feel really good but knowing that I decluttered so much much stuff and hopefully all of this will go to you know people that can definitely use it people in need especially this time of year makes me feel really good knowing that I'm getting rid of stuff clearing out stuff so it's just not taking up space in my house and knowing that it's gonna go to a better home is also really exciting so that's another thing that I definitely recommend y'all doing I'm gonna sit here and fold all this and get it into some of these boxes and get it ready to be donated all organized and look at that we ended up with two huge boxes and a pretty big bag as well mostly clothes or some like coffee mugs some shoes a bunch of like random stuff a couple pairs of earrings scarves I'm so excited and then last but not least I actually just kind of like rearranged this shelf up here I just like wasn't oh this tilted forward there I feel like we can kind of get the idea it just looks a little bit more polished a little bit more clean there was just like a ton of stuff kind of cluttering up that area and I do use it to store my purses but I also don't really want it to like look like a mess. I just feel like there's so much space we could be using in this room. I feel like we could put like another shelf or I don't know, maybe I should hang something up there. It just looks so empty, right? But anyway, that's not the point. The point is everything is so organized. I love it. I feel like we've made some really good progress and it just honestly like is walking into this closet like used to literally like stress me out and now walking in here also don't worry about my appearance. <laughs> I just worked out and it's just like so nice to know everything's organized, everything's where it needs to be. That's just such a good like mental feeling I feel like but we're done and I'm so excited I definitely encourage you guys if you have some like organizing to do Especially in your closet or in your room or your bathroom Just like any areas that you kind of 
access a lot and you need good access to take the time to just get it in order it feels so good it will take a lot of effort and some blood sweat and tears but it will feel so good afterwards and be so worth it so uh, thank you guys so much for organizing my closet with me this has been a great couple days and i appreciate you watching if you would like to subscribe we would love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time i will see y'all in our next video bye guys <laughs>